Imagine driving a car and imagine the many dimensions that you're seeing in a car. There's 10 or 20 cars around you. There are many dimensions. What your brain actually does is it locks onto something that's really important, like a pedestrian. This spatial perception is what we're maximizing and using to your benefit. So what we're doing is we are presenting data sets immersively in VR and AR. Um, and what it does for you is it basically enables you to understand data magnitudes of order, orders of magnitude greater than what you're used to. So typically in the financial markets, um, there are many charts and what the traders are trying to do is to form a mental model of what's going on. What we think is this is older technology and it's time to bring VR and AR into the markets. So if we use a real world example, say it's the S&P 500, you've got 500 rows and say there are 12 columns. Okay, that's a lot of data to look at and in the demo I'm about to give you, I will show you something similar and how quickly in the AR environment you're able to lock onto it. The way it's done now typically is with charting. Uh, you can do four axes when you're charting. Maybe you add some animation. That could be a fifth axis. It's basically not done because the way in which you do it is it would just take absolutely too long. If you looked at the 495 combinations of a four-dimension scatter plot, um, it would take you hours and hours over 40 hours. <laughs> it's not done. <laughs> so what people have resorted to now is machine learning, and machine learning is really um, coming to the fore in a lot of industries because there's just too much data to, uh, to look at. But the problem with machine learning is your judgment, your experience, your creativity is hard to impart into that machine learning model. We think what we're doing is augmenting machine learning. Um, one of our advisors is a, a MacArthur Fellow um, MIT professor, and he helped us build this model. What it basically means is as you add more dimensions, you are geometrically improving your understanding of the data. So uh, where it has the four with the red box around it, if you can see it, that's sort of like one speed you're looking at a scatter plot. As you add dimensions, in the demo I'm gonna give you, uh, it's gonna be eight dimensions, that can get you, I'm sorry, seven dimensions, that'll get you 35 times the power of understanding your data. Now I'm going to switch to the HoloLens Bravely. It's a great device, but it doesn't always work. Great. So what I have here is um, we democratize data science because you can now see things in your data you couldn't see any other way. Let me just move it a little bit. Place. 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 So obviously there are three dimensions in this cube, price to earnings, over here is price to sales, and dividend yield. A fourth dimension that's really obvious to you is size. Um, it's kind of hard to see on a flat screen. It's very easy to see in the HoloLens. Um, you also have coloration, which is price to book, and there are four additional um, dimensions that are displayed in other visual effects. But you can jump out and see the entire market at once, such as Amazon, Facebook, and Google are very high on a price to earnings basis with no altitude, which is dividend yield. There's a little bit of a delay here. Um, if you look at Apple, you see there is a dividend yield that's fairly high, but not so high on the price to earnings. You can then come around and change your market perspective, and we see um, BlackRock, and we see BlackRock is high on a price to sales, but low on a price to earnings basis. As you also look on coloration, that's the price to book value. All of the globes that are more toward the green side are lower price to book, and more of the purple side are higher price to book. So again, this is just sort of a basic way. We can help you understand your data and make better decisions orders of magnitude faster. Not done yet. <laughs> right in the middle of my setup for my demo. Um, Windows decided to do an update. I'm not sure if that's my fault or Windows' fault, but that's okay. So, um, thank you. So, the use cases. Um, 
Folks in the financial markets are constantly under the gun. It's a little bit like playing NFL football. You have a bad couple of days, couple of weeks, maybe a bad year, you're out, next guy up. Uh, but they're constantly searching for new ideas and new ways to figure out what's going on. They want to look ahead or see anomalies. Of course, they're looking for signals or trends. They want to know when signals are improving in power or decreasing in power. So using it for alpha discovery, potentially portfolio management. There's always a rebalancing of portfolios from month to month. Um, optimization. Risk management, of course, is a huge uh, mantra for them. Um, many ways in which this could be used, both in fixed income and in equity markets. The key, though, to insights is about our technology, but it's really the experience of the individual in the market. They have the two, three, five, 10, 20 years of experience. They have to take that experience with the headset on and apply it to their data. The more they understand their data, and it's really kind of superficial, but they need to be familiar with it at all. So their experience, our data, coupled with our technology is really where the power comes from. So we think this is a way to more deeply understand the markets like never before. Um, we now can display 14 dimensions. Uh, we have patent protection up to 50 dimensions. And we also have an SDK so we can integrate into existing systems and existing technologies. And that's what I have. Thank you.